the disappearance of a beauty queen in Georgia would be a mystery for 12 years. Hello, true crimers. This is the case of Tara Grinstead from Osceola, Georgia. Viewer discretion is advised. Tara was born on November 14th, 1974. And by 1999, she had won the title of Miss Tifton in Georgia. And then that led her to compete in the Miss Georgia beauty pageant. And she won. She would invest her winnings in school because her passion was to teach. In 2003, she earned her master's degree from Valdosta State University, and then she would eventually begin teaching history, and that would be at Irwin County High School. Tara had dated a man named Marcus Harper for about six years. He actually used to be a cop in Osceola. But in 2005, they would break up, and this was pretty heartbreaking to Tara. On the morning of October 24th, 2005, Tara was expected at the school. She never showed up. And that was extremely uncharacteristic of Tara. She would never do that. So family, friends, and even some neighbors, they grew concerned really quickly. The police were called, she was reported missing. They would search through her home, and honestly, nothing seemed out of place. There wasn't any sign of a struggle. Everything was just like it was. They found some beauty supplies out. This is likely because the last time she was seen was on October 22nd, where she was helping coach at a beauty pageant. Her Halloween decorations were out. The only thing they found out of the ordinary was a latex glove. And this was laying basically out in the open right in front of her house. They tested it for DNA. They found Tara's DNA on it, but also DNA from an unknown male. But Tara, she was nowhere. And everyone was at an absolute loss. Authorities combed through her life. They looked into all the men she dated. They looked into colleagues at the school. Nothing. She literally just vanished. But we all know that's not possible. It wouldn't be until 2017 a woman named Brooke Sheridan came forward to police. She told authorities that her boyfriend, Bo Dukes, pictured here, well, he helped a friend of his, Ryan Duke, who are not related, by the way, while well, he helped him cover up Tara's murder. Bo then told his story to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, and then from there, poor man's Tom Green, Ryan Duke, he would be arrested. On the night she disappeared, he broke into her house, tried to steal from her purse, but she caught him, and he reacted by beating her, eventually killing her. And then these two men, they then took her body to a pecan orchard and burned her till there was nothing left. In 2019, Bo Dukes was sentenced to 25 years to life for his part in the crime, and Ryan, he's actually still awaiting trial.